yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm singing, can't nobody do me like Jesus, can't nobody do me like the Lord, can't nobody do me like Jesus, he's my friend. Oh, can't nobody, can't nobody do me like Jesus, do me like Jesus. oh, can't, can't nobody oh, do me like the Lord, do me like the Lord. oh, can't, can't nobody. nobody. Do me like Jesus. Do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Oh, I'm singing, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't no do me like the Lord. Do me like the Lord. Singing, can't nobody do me like Jesus. For He's my friend. Oh, I'm singing, can't nobody. The Lord, do me like the Lord. Oh, can no do me like Jesus. For oh, He is my friend. Let's do it again. I'm singing, can nobody do me like Jesus? Oh, can nobody do me like the Lord? Can no do me like Jesus? For oh, He is my friend. Oh, put those hands on. Come on, Zion, everybody clap those hands. Oh, I'm singing, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, can't nobody do me like the Lord. Singing, can't nobody do me like Jesus. For he is my And he told me to run. Yes, he picked me up. And he told me to run. Oh, he picked me up. And he told me to run. For he's my friend. Oh, I'm saying he picked me up. And he told me to run. Yes, he picked me up. And he told me to run. Yes, he picked me up. And he told me to run. For he. Come on, I know you got something to give God praise for. Hallelujah! Oh, I'm saying he picked me up and he told me to run. Yes, he picked me up and he told me to run. Yes, he picked me up and he told me to run. For he is my friend. Oh, I'm singing. Oh, can't nobody do me like the Lord. Singing, can't nobody do me like Jesus. For He's my Here's your chance again. Put those hands together. Come on, anybody come to praise our God? Hallelujah. Oh, I'm singing, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. I'm singing, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Yes, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, I can't find nobody. 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 nobody. I can't find nobody. nobody. I can't find nobody. nobody. Singing nobody. nobody. Singing nobody. nobody. Oh, 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 nobody. Oh,
nobody. nobody. I'm seeking nobody. nobody. Let's raise it up. Oh, I can't find nobody. nobody. 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 Singing nobody. nobody, I'm crying nobody, nobody, no nobody. nobody. Oh, I can't find nobody. nobody. 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 I can't find nobody. Come on, you ought to give God praise because there's nobody like our great God. Hallelujah! Oh, I can't find nobody. nobody. 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 Nobody, 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 nobody can hear me, nobody can save me, nobody can touch me, nobody, 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 nobody. Nobody, 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 everybody cop those. Come on, Zion, cop those hands, all you people. Come on, give them glory. Oh, I can't find nobody. nobody. 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 I look to my left. Nobody. I look to my right. Nobody. I look all around. Nobody. But I can't find nobody. nobody. 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 Can touch me. Nobody, nobody can hear me. Nobody, 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 but Jesus, but Jesus, not Buddha, nobody, not all of no Jesus, nobody, 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 no, no. Come on, there's nobody but our God. Give him glory. Put your hands on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's my friend. Oh, he's my friend. He's my only friend. He's my yes, he is. Friend. He's my only friend. He's my I hear you, Sister Lampley. He's my best friend. He's my best friend. He's my only friend. He's my only friend. <laughs> He's my only friend. He's my friend. Oh, nobody, 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 nobody can hear me like Jesus. Nobody, 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 
Nobody, nobody, nobody, nobody, no nobody. I can't find 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 nobody. He's my friend. Oh, 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 he's my friend. He's my only friend. He's Come on, do you know you got a true friend in Jesus? He's my friend. He's my friend. He's my friend. He's my, friend. He's my, friend. He's my only friend. He's, he's my, my friend. Come on, you ought to testify. He's your friend. He's my Come on. Friend. He's my only friend. He's Oh, put those hands on it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's my only friend. He my He's my only friend. He's my friend. Last time he's my friend. He He's my only friend. He's my friend. Come on, we'll give your friend a great big praise all over the house. Come on, for the next few moments, put a praise in the house. Hallelujah. Come on, that's how you're going to praise your friend. That's how you're going to praise the one that delivered you, the one that saved you, the one that set you free. Come on, give him glory. Give God glory. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. Come on, begin to thank him. God, we thank you. Come on, give your friend a praise. Give your friend a praise. Come on, give him a true praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God who give us the victory. Hallelujah. Come on, he's a true friend. He never left you. He never forsaken you. God, for that we give you praise. For that we give you glory. Come on, Zion, put it in the house. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Here come my shit. Come on, give him glory. 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 You should have been dead and gone. Here come my shit. Give him glory. But it was nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Nobody but Jesus. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Look over to a neighbor and say, it was nobody but our God. Nobody but our great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, speak well of our King in this moment. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, you just sung it. He's your best friend. But come on, give praise to your best friend. Utter sweet words to your best friend. Lord, you're so wonderful. Hallelujah, God. Come on, anybody come to praise and worship our God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, Zion, you're scaring me. Anybody come and praise and worship our great God. Hallelujah, Jesus. The fact of the matter is, whatever you've been going through, it could have been worse. Hallelujah. We could have been out of here, but God is a great God. He's a sovereign God. Oh, God, we worship you in the beauty of holiness. For there's nobody like you, Jesus. There's nobody like you, Jesus. There's nobody like you, Jesus. Come on, Zion. Come on. Fill this room with your words. Fill this room with adoration. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, you're marvelous. Come on, Zion. Come on. You're wonderful, Jesus. God, we come to praise you. Oh, we don't come to give you a regular, ordinary praise. But we come to praise you out of the depths of our soul. Hallelujah. Oh, there's nobody like our God. There's nobody like our God. Oh, God, you're wonderful. You're great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, come on, let's raise it up. Come on, create an atmosphere. Come on, for whatever you need the Lord to do. God, we worship you in this place. 
Hallelujah. Come on, in his presence is the fullness of joy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, you're so wonderful. Oh, God, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. I can't tell you enough how much we love you, how much we care for you, Jesus. Oh, God, you're wonderful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, begin to thank him out of your soul. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to our God. Oh, Jehovah, we praise you. Yes, Jehovah, we praise you. We praise your name. We praise your name. Jehovah, we praise your name, Jesus. Come on, anybody come to praise him. Oh, Jehovah, we praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Oh, we praise your name. We praise your name. We praise your We praise you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Jehovah. Come on, worship him. We praise you. God, that's all we're coming to do is praise you. Lord Jehovah, we praise you. Come on, that's what we come to do. We come to praise him in the beauty of holiness. We praise your We praise your name. Come on, in this moment, come on, everybody. Come on, begin to worship our God. Come on, lift your hands to our King. And let Lord, we praise you. Come on, give something God unusual. Come on, I challenge you to give him your best praise. Come on, give him something different. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give him a praise. God, we praise your name. We praise your name. We praise your name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you. Oh, God. Jehovah, we praise. Oh, come on, everybody. Cry, Jehovah. We praise you. Oh, we praise your name. Anybody come to praise our God? God, we praise your name. For your name is a strong tower. Your name is a name that's above every name. God, we praise your name. We praise you. We oh. Come on, can we lift our heads in his presence and praise you, oh God. Praise you. We praise you. Yes, we do, Jesus. We praise you. Yes, we do, Jesus. We praise you. Oh God, our hearts long to praise you. Our minds worship you in the beauty of holiness, Jesus. We praise you. We come to praise your holy name. We come to praise your holy name, we say, we pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Right here, give him praise. Come on, right here, give him praise. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Jesus. 
Jesus. Come on, everybody. Come on, right there. Let's take a moment. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, everybody. Can you give him praise this morning, today? For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us therefore rejoice. Come on, let's keep it right there. Jehovah, we praise you. Come on. Jehovah, we praise you through the storm, through the rain, through the heartache, through the pain. Jehovah, we praise you. Come on, everybody. Jehovah, Jehovah, we praise you. We praise you. Jesus, Jesus, 
darkness. Jesus in the morning. Jesus in the noonday. Jesus late at night. They taught me this in the old school. They used to say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. If you call on Jesus, he will. Look at somebody and say he will answer prayer. Come on, if you know that, if you know he'll answer prayer, just walk down your road and say he'll answer. He'll answer. He'll answer. He'll answer. He'll answer. He'll answer prayer. Somebody shout Jesus. Oh, somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, the more I praise him, the better I feel. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, grab your hands, church. It's the Lord's day, and we come to give him the praise. One more time, somebody shout Jesus. Amen. For the Bible declares there is a name. Amen. That is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must profess and proclaim that he is Lord. And he is not Lord just, amen, in my life, but he is Lord over everything. Come on, church. I said he's Lord over everything. So it does not matter what you face in your life. God says that I'm Lord of it all. And though the enemy would have you to be deceived and be distracted, God says, I want you to focus not your attention, amen, on what you're going through, but focus your attention on me. For I am the God that shall supply all of your needs according to my riches in glory. And if you only trust in me, look at somebody and say, neighbor, learn how to trust in God. Come on, put a little tune in your voice and say, neighbor, learn how to trust in God. Some trust in horses, some trust in chariots, but we will remember the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous can run therein and be saved. And I'm so glad, amen, today that I find safety and salvation in the name of Jesus. Anybody glad that you know the name of Jesus? Amen, that we're not here deceived serving another God, but God has revealed himself in the truth of who he is, and we are here to give him praise. If you're here to give God praise one more time, clap your hands and shout hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. For everybody ought to praise the Lord. Amen. We give honor and deference. Amen. To the Lord Jesus Christ that is in this place. Amen. We give amen, honor and deference. Amen. To the bishop of the house and our pastor, Emeritus. Can you clap our hands for the most honorable Bishop Embrew McCoy, Sr.? Amen. And for his companion, Lady McCoy. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For those that serve in co-laborship here. Amen. At GRM. Can we clap our hands for all of the people of God? Amen. We are excited. Amen. And so glad to see our apostolic mother in the house. Come on. Clap your hands, church. Come on. I said clap your hands. She's in the house. Amen. And what looks to be a new suit. Amen. Hallelujah. And a new hat. Amen. Oh, and a new hairstyle. Amen. Look at somebody say new, 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 new. Amen. He'll make all things new. Amen. And we're so glad, Mother. Amen. That you're in the house of the Lord. Amen. And amen. We'll give you opportunity later if you would like to. Amen. Greet us in the name of the Lord. Amen. In your own way. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For all of the people of God. Amen. That are in the house. Thank God for our musicians. Amen. Old and new. Amen. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. Appreciate the fact that we're here serving God together. Amen. Well, we have much to do today. Amen. As we are on the heels. Amen. Of what is called holy convocation. 
Amen. Holy convocation is a biblical term, amen, in time and season in which God, amen, calls for a select group of people to come together, amen, and to hear a word from the Lord, amen. And as we are a part of the church of our Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith Incorporated in the month of July, amen, we designate time as an international church to come from all over the world. People will be coming from as far as as uh, the Philippines, I believe, and, and China and Africa, amen, to come and to descend on Greensboro, North Carolina, amen, to hear a word from the Lord, amen, as it is in other traditions, amen, they go to Mecca, amen, but this will be our time of going to Mecca, amen, to hear a word from the Lord, and so, amen, we are preparing our hearts and our minds because we believe that God is going to meet us supernaturally there in Greensboro. North Carolina, amen, and even if you are not going, amen, I want you to stay connected to us because I still believe, amen, that God can meet you at the point of your need, that even if you are not physically there in Greensboro, North Carolina, you can be in your living room, amen, and God can manifest himself even there. You could be in the bedroom, and God can manifest himself even there. You can be, amen, in the bathroom, amen, and God can manifest himself even there. Anybody got saved in the bathroom? Hallelujah. God visit them. Amen. And I knew one would raise their hand. Amen. God visit them in the shower. Amen. While you were getting together. Amen. And he visited. Amen. You there. So wherever you are. Amen. We want you to prepare your hearts and your minds. Amen. Everything will be shown virtually. There will be morning prayer. Amen. Starting on Wednesday. Amen. Noonday services and night services where you can, amen, join us virtually. Amen. And give God praise corporately. Amen. Amen. Well, it's offering time in the house. Thank you so much. Amen. I said it's offering time in the house. Amen. We rejoice at the proclamation that it's offering time for the Bible declares that God loves a cheerful giver. We get cheerful. Amen. Because of the fact because God has been good to us. Amen. And it takes nothing. Amen. To do good to those that are good to you. Would you hear what I said? It says it takes nothing. Amen. To do good to those that have been good to you. And truly, God has been good to each of us. Amen. So let us prepare our, our seeds. Amen. Whether our tithes and our offering. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves to give cheerfully into the house of the Lord. Amen. If you're giving electronically, amen, you can visit refugeorlando.com. There are, amen, two opportunities or ways, rather, that you can give either by Cash App. Amen. Or by debit card, if you're giving by cash app, amen, there it is on the, amen, screens, amen, the televisions, amen, money sign, GRM Orlando, amen, refugeorlando.com, amen, or if you're giving in the sanctuary, amen, our deacons are here, amen, prepared to receive your gift, amen. We give big here at GRM, amen, that acronym big is bountifully, amen, intentionally, at gleefully. Amen. Knowing that God loves a cheerful giver. If you're ready to give, let's stand on our feet all over the house, whether you have or have not. Amen. Everyone standing as we pray. Amen. The prayer of blessings. Father, we thank you once more and again for this opportunity that you have allowed us to enter into your house. Oh God, and give you praise. God, we come now in this time, in this moment that you have called for us to sow seed. So God, we take that which we have and we deposit it back to you and we ask that you bless it, oh God. God, we're not giving because we're looking for a blessing, but we're giving because we are so thankful for what you have called us to do. God, we ask you to bless the seed of sacrifice, knowing that you, God, said that you would supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. So we trust you now that we'll never want for anything as long as we trust in you. Now bless it and use it for your will and for your glory. In the name of he who was, he who is, and he who is to come, Jesus the Christ, we pray. And let everyone say amen and amen. Come, let's give cheerfully into the house of the Lord.
Lisa. I am a friend of God. 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 He calls me friend. 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 So yes, amen. We honor the Lord. Amen. I want, amen, everyone, amen, just to take a few moments, amen. We're going to call our apostolic mother, amen, to come in her own way, amen, however she wants to greet us, amen. You can sit there, you can stand, however you want to do it, amen. But we want to hear the voice of our apostolic mother, as I said, amen, when I, amen, assumed the reins of pastor, amen, and so thankful for the opportunity Amen. One of the first appointments that I officially made was making the apostolic mother, amen, an official designation in this ministry, amen, and similar to, amen, that of my office, her office, amen, is that over the women, amen, and as a man, amen, I, I, I shouldn't be teaching the women. Hello, somebody. For the Bible says, let the older women, somebody knows, somebody don't know the word, but I'm going to give you the word, let the older women teach, amen, the women, amen, and so we're so glad that we have this kind of, amen, anointing and caliber, amen, that is in our midst, amen, and we know that mother, amen, is growing in grace, amen, and she is, amen, getting accustomed to this new grace of growing in it, amen, it, it takes, amen, and uh, getting accustomed, amen, I, I, I too am growing in a grace, amen, and I'm getting accustomed, amen, that I, I thought I could do things that I thought I could do, but I can't do no more, amen, or I shouldn't do no more, amen, amen, and we all are growing, look at somebody and say, we're all growing in grace, <laughs> amen, amen, because you don't look like two years ago, Amen. And we're all growing in a grace. Amen. And so, amen. We're going to thank God. Amen. And give her an opportunity to greet us in her own way. Let us stand to our feet and receive now, amen, our apostolic mother, the honorable Mother Susie Nelson McCoy, EDS. Come on, clap your hands for mother. God bless you. I greet you each and every one in that matchless name. So good to see you, Jackie Levy. God is good. And I'm grateful to be found in the house of prayer one more time. I'm thanking God for how he has touched my body. I, I am just so grateful. I'm not a crybaby. And I'm a have a tolerance of pain. I don't complain. I don't say anything. Only way the kids can tell if I'm sick, if I'm quiet, or Deacon Luke say, I'll come over my nose like this. But the pain has gotten so severe. It's ten tear jerking pain in, in my hip, coming all down, sciatica nerves, pinch nerves. And, diagnosed for the last four years with many things. Even when I had the stroke in 2018, I was in therapy then. So they've been trying to find out what's been wrong with me for quite some time. You put me on the x-ray machine, everything lines up. This is good for 84 year old, 300 pound woman. Everything is good. Can't find nothing, but I'm still in pain. But I praise God for this last week. I don't know if I need to share this, but I'm going to tell it anyway. God is a good God. I praise him. I know how to pray. I know how to plead the blood. And I believe in Jesus. But this week, 
I went to someone and they said, Mrs. McCoy, what I've been giving people your age for pain, they said, I want you to get some gummy bears. And I said, cut them in the fours or cut them in a the half or cut them any way you have to cut them and chew them. And she was pushing marijuana, medical marijuana. I praise God. Don't label me. I'm free of pain. And I just praise God for it. When I asked the bishop, I said, Bishop, should I take it? Bishop said, chew it up good, mama. <laughs> Don't label me. My grandchildren, pharmacists, all kinds of stuff. She said, if you know somebody, I said, mm hmm Just keep on talking. <laughs> I know somebody other than Jesus that can heal your body. I'm just so grateful for it. Couldn't raise this arm. So I had to get a hairstyle that I could um, not have to comb it. And for the few dish to do this, my head is bald to the top. She did magic on me, and I'm just so grateful. <laughs> so I'm going to put this little top on it and go about my business. Your apostolic mama is a happy mama today. God bless you. Don't label people. You don't, don't label people. Don't be so quick to judge. Don't be so quick to judge. Don't be so quick to judge. Come on, let's give God praise today. Come on, everybody, let's give God praise. Somebody just say, I'm healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My hope is built on nothing less. Then Jesus Christ and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ. The solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand, all of the ground is sinking sand, on Christ, come on somebody say, the solid rock I stand all of the ground is seeking sand all of the ground is seeking sand when he shall come with trumpet sound Oh, may I thee be found in him, dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before his throne. On oh, Christ, the solid rock I stand. Let's give a praise. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. Oh, 
the ground is sinking sand. God, we trust you today. All of the ground is sinking sand. My hope is built. Come on, anybody hope built today on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but holy lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is seeking sand. All of the ground is seeking sand. In every rough and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. When all around my soul gives way, He then is all my hope and stay on Christ, on Christ, the solid rock I stand, all over ground me. Seeking sand, all other ground is seeking sand. Two more verses. Not earth nor hell, my soul can move. I rest upon unchanging love. I trust in his righteous character, his counsel and promises are true. Lord Christ, come on everybody, the solid rock I stand, all the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is seen. One more verse. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I be, be found in him, dressed in his righteousness alone. Oh, And before it's grown, Lord Christ, the sun, red rock, I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is one more time sinking. Everybody, on Christ, on Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All of the ground is seeking sand. All of the ground is seeking sand. Now come on, let's give God praise today. Come on, if you know you're standing on the rock of Jesus, hey, gotta never give away. Come on, give Him praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. Amen. Amen. Glad to see all the people of God. Amen. God is doing a quick work in the house. Amen. Our apostolic mother was hospitalized on last week. Amen. On one hand, then we got another call. Amen. That our sister, amen, was hospitalized. Amen. But both of them are in church across from each other to give God praise. I dare you just to give God a glorious praise and say, Lord, 
we believe your word. Come on, if you're sitting here today and you're wrestling with anything, I beg you just to let it go and say, Lord, we believe your word that before you call, before we call, you've already answered. And while we're speaking, you've already heard our request. So we'll just say something like this. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so good to me. So good. Come on, everybody. Hey, Lord, I just want to. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Come on, everybody. Let's take a moment. I thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. So good to me. So One more time, Lord, I just want to thank you. Come on, somebody get a tambourine. Lord, I want to hear something. Come on, clap your hands, Lord. Lord, hey, I hey, hey. Lord, 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 Lord. Get that stretch, Lord. And let's have a little church. I want to thank, thank you for being so, so good to me. So One more time, Lord. So good to me. So good to me. Everybody come, y'all. Come on, it's Sunday. And I feel the spirit of the Lord in the house. Come on, and what the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Come on, everybody, let's give it a praise. Yeah. Lord, I just want to, Lord, I just want to. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, Oh, Lord, I just want to thank you. 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 Oh,
Hey, glory, 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 glory. You brought me out. Oh, oh, oh. You brought me out. You brought me out. You brought me out. You keep making a way. Hey. Glory when it seems there is no way. You keep making a way. You keep making. You keep making a way. You keep making a way. You keep making a way. Making a way. Come on, if you know he's making a way, come on, give him praise right there. Come on and say, Waymaker. Come on, say, Waymaker. Waymaker, 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 Waymaker. Hey. Hallelujah. Come on, just step, step, step. Look at someone down your road and say, He's going to make a way for you. Come on, do me a favor, just reach down the road and say he's going to make a way for you. When it seems that there is no way, God's going to open up a door. God's going to give you vision. God's going to show you what to do. Somebody shout yes. You keep making a way. I hear that in the spirit. You keep making a way. You keep making. You keep making a way. You keep making a way. You keep making a way. Oh ho. Oh ho. Oh ho. Oh ho. Oh ho, oh ho, you keep making a way. Come on, give a praise today. Hallelujah. What a wonderful God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. We give God praise today. Amen. Because we know that God is working on our behalf. Does anybody believe that in the house? That God is working on your behalf. We appreciate the fact that he's working on others' behalves. But I'm glad that he has extended himself to me. That which I ask for. That's what I stand in need of. He's more than able to do. One of the significant, amen, understandings of any ministry is that of growth. <clears throat> Even Jesus would look at the tree. But the tree was not bearing fruit he would curse it and we praise God there is a significant anointing of generational blessings here at this particular ministry that for some reason God blesses families here It is through family evangelism that this ministry is even still alive. But what doth it profit a man to receive salvation and not share it with his own blood, his own kinfolk? We can be nice to everybody else. We can share the love of Christ with everybody else. But it seems like with our own family, we have difficulty.
but not so here. God has graced us and anointed us with generational blessings. The largest family of our ministry as a part of that generational blessing goes all the way back to a dear mother by the name of Mother Isaac who was not here when her daughter Mother Lloyd was here. But we believe the blessings of Mother Isaac was so much so that Mother Lloyd knew how to pray through. And though the manifestation of what God had promised to her did not come into fullness until later, she remained faithful through it all. Look at somebody and say, stay faithful. And because of that, her mother, Mother Isaac, came to the ministry. And so that was first generation, second generation, then Mother Lloyd's daughter, our now missionary mother, Yearwood, came to the ministry. Because of that, her sister's Sister Roma Lloyd. I'm gonna try to name all of them. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to name all of them. Let me see. Somebody gonna have to help me. Sister, I can't do it in order. No, Sister Yearwood, Sister Roma, Sister Stacy, Sister J Candace, Sister, J Sister Janice. Who am I missing? Sister Jean. It was five girls. How many girls? I can't see with mask on. <laughs> Don, Sister Don, yes. Marika, Sister Marika. Let me testify about this. I'm taking my time. I'm going to take my preaching time. Sister Marika was sitting right here. Right about, maybe uh, maybe it's on the road where sister, maybe it's Deacon McCoy, she's pointing to sister. And Sister Marika died in church. Am I telling the truth? A seizure. And we thought she was gone. And men of God began to pray her through. And I thought they said she was dead. Maybe a month after. But what I'm trying to tell you, the power of God is in general, generational blessings. And we were able to pray her through. So, so Sister Marika, so how many girls is it? Y'all forgot your sisters. <laughs> Nine girls. All right. And then... All of the girls didn't come, but some of the boys came. And Brother Troy and Arden, a Lloyd. So nine girls and so many boys and, and so many grandchildren and so many great-grand and so many great-great-grand. And now that family... Amen is an integral part of this ministry. Come on, let's praise the God for this family. And because of Sister Stacy, who was the best friend of Sister Jackie. Now, Sister Stacy passed away, transitioned, and I don't know who she must have given the recipe to her salmon to anybody. Sister Jackie, can you cook her? Can you cook her salmon like she used to do it? My God, that woman could cook. She, huh? Oh my, I tell you yes. Yes, my wife can cook, but she had a special anointing on that salmon. God called her, and she would make that that dish and. 
Because of that, Sister Jackie, we got to meet Sister Jackie and her mother, Mother Green, a man who is with us in spirit. She's not passed away. She's still here, but she's not with us physically today. And because of that generational blessing, we got Sister Jaquila. And I'm, y'all remember Sister Jaquila? Let me see if I can. Sister Jaquila and I are not that different in age. Jaquila is 28. Ah, I thought you were at least 30. My God. I'm 34, about to be 35. That's why I'm leaning on this pew like this. I mean, Jesus Christ. And Sister Jaquila, we had a, a contest. I, I think it was the king and I, or the king and queen, something like that. It's something like that. And Sister Jaquila came. All I could think of was Dolly Parton, like a little doll. She had this big dress on. And she sung, somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> they laugh because y'all should remember that. <laughs> oh, God. And now Sister Jaquila is here to offer her child to the Lord. Come on, that deserves a hand clap of praise in the house. So we're going to ask the family, all of those that are going to be a part of this blessing. Hallelujah. Hmm. And I want our apostolic mother to help me with this anointing. I want all those that are coming, family, godparents, friends, come on down. Come on, all those that are coming. I want the mother and the child to stay in the middle and everyone can circle around. So you can use me. I give myself away. Oh, oh, oh. Give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. No. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. Come on, I want everyone to begin to begin praying. Just meditate on the goodness of the Lord. We're going to bless this child. I give myself away. Mother, this is Jaquila, and the father. God bless you, sir. Nice to meet you. And your name? Andre. Brother Andre and sister Jaquila. This is a sacred time. And this is an important time in the life of a child. That what you are saying is saying, God, we know that you have gifted this child to us, but we know this is not our child. So we're giving the child back to you. The Bible says in all of your ways, if you acknowledge him first, he will direct your path. So this is a great thing that you're doing to acknowledge that God has given you this great gift. 
I'm going to read a couple of scriptures and then we're going to pray. I'm going to read out of Psalms 127 verses 3 through 5. It says, children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him like arrows in the hands of a warrior are children in one's youth. I also want to lift up this passage of scripture that we all know or should be familiar with. It comes out of Proverbs the 20, Proverbs 22 and 6 and it says, train up a child in the way that she should go, I'll say today. And when she is old, she will not depart from it. We believe that if you establish God in the life of this child, that no matter where she goes, no matter what she may do, that she'll always come back to God because we know that God is the source of everything. And so we're going to pray a blessing on the Lord. I'm going to ask that our apostolic mother help us with this blessing if Jade will go to her. I want mother to pray first. I want mother to pray first, and then we're going to pray. I want her to hold the child. You can stay there, Mom. You want to walk up? You're feeling good, huh? All right, come on. <laughs> come on. I'm calling Mother McCoy not only because she's an apostolic mother, because I want her to represent Mother Green. I want her to represent Mother Green and the anointing that Mother Green has. I know Mother can stand in proxy for. So I want you to hold the child. We're going to pray a blessing. Let's see if she'll do it. She's smiling. You got her? Okay. All right, we're going to ask Mother to pray Jade. And then we're going to pray to collectively. Let's pray. Lord God, in the precious name of thy only begotten Son, Jesus, we come before you this afternoon, Lord, praying over Jade, J-A-D-E, a name given to her by her grandmother. Lord God, we pray that thou will bless her, that will protect her, and that will you will continue to guide her and lead her. Open up her understanding. Let her desires be pleasing in your sight at all times. In Jesus' name, I pray upon this child. Amen. 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 Now we're going to give the child, let's give you a cup of me. Oh. Let's pray. Father, we thank you now for the life of Jade. God, we thank you for what you've called her to be in this earth. And God, we pray a special blessing upon her even now from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. God, we ask that you use her, oh God, in the life of this world, God. We bind the hand of the enemy that would come to steal, kill, and destroy. And we thank you now for what she's going to be. God, you know what you have given unto her. And God, we thank you for it being revealed to all men. God bless her in her going out and her going in and her developmental years. God, we put a hedge of protection around her even as she goes into school, even as she grows, that no weapon formed against her will be able to prosper. God, we thank you for delivering her, and for giving her the desires of her heart. God, we ask you to bless her parents, God, that as they raise and as they begin to Give her the things that she needs, God, that they will be led and guided by you. God, bless those godparents and aunts and uncles and grandparents that will be in the life of the child, that they will always acknowledge you. And God, we thank you now, for you are the God that said you would do as you have promised. And so we thank you for the Holy Ghost. Oh, God, I said we thank you for the Holy Ghost that is even going to be revealed in the life of this daughter. We thank you now and give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Come on, let's give God praise in the house. All right, let's give it to Pop. What I want to do, y'all ready for that uh, declaration? I want to go to this declaration. I want us to...
read this declaration together as a church because Jade is a member of this church. Amen. I'm claiming it. I already said it. I don't know. If, I don't know if the dad agrees, but she's a member of this church. <laughs> Amen. And so what we want to do, we want to, the congregation, let's stand and we're going to pledge this commitment to the family. We're going to pledge this commitment to Jade. Thank you so much. I've been sweating all on camera and everything else. Not bring me the rest. Let's say this together. Let's read it together, this pledge of congregational commitment. Let's read it. Father, as we pledge ourselves to watch over, nurture, and care for this little life, we thank you for the privilege of being a church family together. Thank you for the joy of becoming a community who shares in the wonder and challenges of raising children. We promise to encourage this family to care for them and support them. We pledge to pray for your peace and joy to reign in their homes, their relationships, and their hearts. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise, everybody. Let's give God praise for this blessed Princess Jane. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. All right, we got something for you. So on behalf of the uh, our... Uh, shepherd mother, come on, help me out with this. Our shepherd mother, on behalf of our bishop, Bishop Embrew McCoy, and our church, we give this certificate of blessing to you, to Princess Jade Serenity Andre. Come on, let's clap our hands for that who was dedicated to the Lord on July, today, July 17, 2022. We give this plaque to you in honor of her dedication. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. We also have two gifts for the parents. We say congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. Come on, let's give God a clap, a hand clap of praise once more. I give myself away. You can be seated. Oh, 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 oh. I give myself away so you can use me. So you can. Use me. I give myself away. Amen. We're going to go into the word of the Lord, but I want my brother to come. Yeah. Just come on and just give us a song of preparation. You, you can come next week. You promise? You promise? I won't be here next week. We'll be in holy convocation. Your wife said, get up. He played the keys and sang. Come on, let's clap our hands for our brother. He's been singing all day. He's going to come and bless us. Amen. And then we're going to get into the word of the Lord. Amen. However you want to be led, be led of God. Amen. If you want to play, if you want to sing. Let me see if I can turn it on here. All right. Go ahead.
preacher got me a little nervous. Say, say, Lord, I love you. How I love you. More and more each day, God. I just want to be close, close to you. for ministering to us. What a wonderful job. Let's turn into the word of the Lord just very quickly. The word of the Lord found in Romans, the eighth chapter. Love it when a plan comes together. Amen. Romans, the eighth chapter. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm 
Romans the 8th chapter, verse number 28. Some of you already know this. If you would stand with me for the reading of God's word. Romans the 8th chapter, verse number 28. Hear ye the word of the Lord. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. Pray with me now. Father, in the name of Jesus, most gracious Father, we come to you on today. And God, before we ask of anything, God, we just pause the sanctitude of this particular time and season in your sanctuary. To acknowledge you, Jesus, and to thank you. God, because you've been so good to us, God, we would like to say and do more, but with the life we do have, with the tongue that we do have, we commit ourselves to you even now. God, your word declares that it is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway, so we ask now that you would illuminate our minds and our thoughts, that we may see clearly that what you would have us to do, that we may follow you more nearly. God, I pray now the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, be acceptable in my sight. God, you are our strength and our redeemer. We pray this in the name of he who was, he who is, and he who is to come, Jesus the Christ. And everyone say amen. On your way sitting down, just look at somebody and say, neighbor, everything is going to be all right. Mm -mm, that wasn't the right neighbor. I said, look at somebody else and say, neighbor, everything is going to be all right. I think we almost there. Just look at somebody else that you haven't looked at since you came in the house. And say, neighbor, everything is going to be all right. You wearing that dress as a jacket. God bless you. Hey, glory to God. <laughs> Amen. Church of God, we got to know that there is a formula that God has uh, designed that if we follow it, that at the end of said formula, that we're going to be made better no matter what situation we find ourselves in. It is important to understand that each of us has a cross that we have to bear. Each of us has uh, a burden, has something that God has divinely orchestrated that we go through in order to get to what he has planned for us. Oftentimes the world will make it seem as if if you just do good, only good will happen to and for you. But we understand through the biblical intent knowledge that God lets us know that 
all of us has a divine appointment with something called struggle. Look at somebody and say, I'm in struggle right now. Oh, God. So all of us has a divine appointment and a time where God's going to take you through a testing of your faith. That the Bible puts plainly, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. And then he lets us know that, amen, the righteous are going to, those that are new in Christ, they're going to have to suffer, what? Persecution. They're going to have to suffer, amen, as it were, a time in which they're going to be in, put into uncomfortable situations. And those situations are going to cause you, amen, to feel as if God is nowhere around. Those, anybody know what I'm talking about in the house? Anybody ever been into a, an uncomfortable situation? And it, and it feels like the more good I try to do, the more I try to, amen, follow what God has told me to do, it seems like the more hell I have to go through. That when I make up in my mind in the morning not to be influenced with, uh, amen, the external, amen, forces uh, that are in the earth. When I what, decide to wake up, Deacon Bailey, on the right side of the bed, not on the wrong side, but um, on the right side of the bed, I can't get, amen, amen, three minutes into the day before I am aggravated by the external forces uh, amen, that are going on in the earth, and amen, whatever mindset that I once had, now my whole day is messed up because, uh, amen, of uh, the troubles, of the trials, of the struggles uh, that I have to go through, amen, and I come to let you know that, uh, amen, all of us are going to have to go through uh, a struggle, look at somebody and say, you got to go through your struggle, all of us are going to have to go through, amen, a testing of our faith, amen. And I don't know what your testing is on today, amen, but God says to us, amen, to let you know that he is in the struggle with you. Would you help me preach? And I'm almost through, amen, because it's 2 o'clock and I like to be out of church before 2. Amen. Look at somebody and say, God is with you in the struggle. If you talk back to me, church, I'll close a little early. I said, look at somebody and say, God is with you. That's right. In the struggle. God is with you in the struggle. Amen. I, I am reminded of the story. Amen. Of the three Hebrew boys. The Bible says that. Amen. They uh, were thrown into a struggle. Uh, and it was a fire. It was a fiery furnace. Anybody with me in the house? And it was in that struggle, uh, amen, uh, that God began to manifest himself uh, as to who he was uh, even inside of difficulties. The Bible says that, uh, amen, the king threw, uh, amen, these Hebrew boys into a fiery furnace. Hallelujah, glory to God. And while they were in the fiery furnace, hear me now, this is no fable, this is the word of the Lord. The Bible says, amen, that the king, amen, looked in and said these words. Did we not throw three into the fiery furnace? Glory to God, but it looks like there is a fourth one, and he looks like he is the Son of God. I come to let you know, church, that God has, amen, orchestrated it, that he is with you in the struggle. 
that he is with you in your fiery furnace and all you have to do is trust and believe that God is going to bring you out. Now those same boys, the Bible says, when they open the furnace, and that it's important to know that which should have killed them, good God Almighty, only made them stronger. Look at somebody and say, what you're going through is only going to make you stronger. What you're dealing with today is only going to make you stronger if you stay in the furnace. The Bible says now in this Romans the 8th chapter and verse uh, number 28 uh, Paul writes to the church at Rome and begins to encourage their heart uh, that I know that you are going through uh, some difficulties uh, I know it seems like uh, there seems to be trial after trial and uh, tribulation after tribulation uh, and I know it seems as if uh, amen God has forsaken you uh, but I come as a prophet uh, uh, Paul the apostle said uh, he told a missionary Massey he said uh, in these words uh, he told him uh, and we know uh, hallelujah glory to God the first thing I want to give to you today uh, is you got to know what you know uh, look at somebody and say neighbor know what you know uh, what do I mean by that you got to hold on to what you know to be as true uh, see some of us want to hold on uh, to all these other things uh, but God says uh, I want to hold uh, amen you uh, amen accountable for what you know uh, not for what you don't know and many of us know that God is real. Anybody know that God is real? Hallelujah. Old oh, churches and say, I know he's real. For I can feel him deep in my soul. And the enemy wants to make you doubt if God is real. And make you feel that maybe it's just an emotional thing. That maybe this is just some hype. But anybody know? that this is not just an emotional thing uh, but God has revealed himself uh, to you uh, and has shown you great uh, and mighty things uh, that's why the church of old says you can't make me doubt him uh, for I know uh, I know too much about him uh, amen he is real uh, so Paul says to the church at Rome uh, and we know that all things work together and some of you are here on today and you are in your divine struggle you are in your season where it feels like uh, there is an attack on every side. Uh, it feels like uh, there is a constant war. Uh, but I want to encourage you uh, that you are right in the place uh, where God wants you. Uh, that you are right in the season uh, where God wants to reveal himself uh, like never before. Uh, and it's important that you uh, don't rush the process. Uh, look at somebody and say, neighbor, I think I'm ready to go. Look at somebody and say, don't rush the process. Look at somebody and say, stay in the fire until he delivers. So the Bible says, now we know. I don't know your name, sister, but I feel a connection here. Now we that all things work together. Look at somebody and say it's working for your good. That wasn't the right person. Y'all sitting to me like y'all can't talk to nobody. Lean on little my neighbor and say it's working. It's working for your good. What the devil has meant for you. Turn your weeping into dancing. I'm 
gonna turn your sorrow into joy. It's working for your good. I said it's working for your good. I said it's working for your good. If you believe in Shadi, says that all things are working together for your good. So what does that mean? It means the trouble that you are facing right now that God is putting in a pot. I wish I had Brother Arden here. Amen, Brother Lloyd. Amen. He was, it was Arden who was a cook, right? Amen. It was Brother Lloyd. Thank you. He was a masterful chef. I must be hungry today. And the Bible, amen. And we knew that when Brother Lloyd, when he was on the ticket to cook, he cooked in a new and new way. Brother Lloyd didn't just enter into the kitchen any kind of way, but he entered into the kitchen as if he knew what he was about to do. When he would enter into the kitchen, he would put on his chef apron. It was a white apron, and it had a little, amen, tie here. It wasn't your little homemaker apron, but it was a professional apron. And when Brother Lloyd, when he would get into the kitchen, he would put on his chef hat, and it was the kind of hat that would slide to the side. He was our very own Chef Bardee. And when Brother Lloyd would get into the kitchen, he would take all of these spices. Now, I'm not a very spice-conscious individual. Matter of fact, my palate is so sensitive that spicy food gives me indigestion. But Brother Lloyd knew how to cook things where it was palatable for everybody. And so he would take some of this and some of that and he would put it in a pot. And I see God doing the same thing for you. God is going to take your good, some of this, and your bad, some of that, and he's going to put it, he's going to put it into a pot, and then he's going to take his divine, amen, I don't know what you call the stirrer, but he's going to stir it, look at somebody and say he's going to stir it, he's going to stir it, and when he gets through, what was difficult, and what was hard, look at somebody and say it's going to be good, Look at a neighbor and say what you're going through. If you stay there, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Somebody say yes. It's gonna work for your good. It's going to work for your Many of us are here and we're struggling. And God says, stay in the struggle. Don't retreat. Don't throw up your hands. Don't say, I can't do it anymore. And I know some of us are dealing with some true Negroes. My God from Zion. Negroes and Negroettes. I know. Treacherous people that lie on you. Twist the truth. Now you done helped. You done done all you can do. You done given all you can give it. 
And the same people that you seem to help, some of us, we sleep with them. Glory to God. Tell somebody the sex ain't that good. Keep putting ourselves in patterns. Wondering why we can't break free. God says, I want you to stay in the struggle. And I want you to believe me and trust me. Because I want to see if you're more committed to yourself or if you're more committed to me. So you know when you're fully committed to God, when you give it all over, you throw up your hands and say, Lord, your will be done. If that means I got to walk, if that means I got to do without, if that means I got to have whatever I got to have, that's when God can really use you. Paul tells to the church, and we know all things. So when you're faced with difficulty this week, I want you to say all things. When you come into conflict, when you come into difficulty, whether it be sickness in your body or dealing with emotionalness, or remember you're dealing with your with, with yourself, a lot of times we try to project on people what is really happening on the inside. So you think it's other people, but it's really your jacked up attitude. It's really your perspective. Because you don't know how nasty you are. You're mean. You're rude. You're unforgiving. But yet you want other people to be something that you're not. Look at somebody and say, look at the mirror. Get the beam out your own eye. For you try to talk about everybody else. I worry about people who, everybody got the problem. It's everybody else's problem. I talked to my son, Josiah. He now his sister is treacherous. I've, I've seen it firsthand. I was on the other side of the room. She didn't know. The way she comforted and had manipulated that situation, I said, good God! She would have caught me if I wasn't careful. And he come in the room, hey, da, 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 da. I said, yeah, but what did you do? He want to talk about Ava this, Ava that. And like, what did you do, Josiah? Look at somebody and say, you got to take personal responsibility. And God has says, when you get to that place of purity and sincerity, I will begin to manifest myself. And look at what the text says. And we know that all things work together for our good. But it's important to understand that all of this is working for his glory. Look at somebody and say, I want my life to give God glory. Come on, if you've been in a minute, just stand up and let's say that. I want my life to give God glory. I want my life to give God glory. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reach worship him right there. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reach out to me. You are my hope. 
Come on, anybody know who's your home today? Hope like no other. Hope like no other. Reaches to me in the fullness of your grace. Come on, anybody thank God that he's lifting you up. You lift me up in the fullness of your grace. In the power of your name, you lift me up. You lift I don't know where you are now in your struggle, but I want to pray strength for your struggle. That God will give you supernatural strength to remain faithful to what he has called you to do. I'm going to pray that God gives you supernatural strength to remain committed even in the midst of adversity. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you now for your word that declares unto us that you are the God that, that will supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. So most gracious Father, we ask that you bless us now, God. Anoint us, O oh God, for the work of your ministry, God, that we may be able to remain faithful. God, in spite of what is going on in our lives, God, we want to be found pleasing and acceptable in your sight. So, O oh God, anoint us afresh now. Anoint us afresh now. God, we thank you now for the special anointing of strength that shall be our portion. God, we thank you for the stick to to remain faithful in the midst of adversity. God, help us to keep our minds stayed on you. Oh, God, help us to keep our minds committed to your will. God, and when it gets rough and when it gets tough, help us to trust in you. Oh, God, we believe that you're able to do exceedingly and abundantly. God, we call upon your strong name to help us, oh God, in the midst of it all, to remain faithful. God, knowing that you are with us in the struggle. So God, we thank you now for the word that says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them who love you and those that are called according to your purpose. Now God, we ask for a special anointing to fall on each individual that is here, God. Woman and man and child, oh God, whatever they stand in need of, God, we ask you to meet them at the point of their need. And God will give you praise in advance, knowing that we have the victory over the enemy and the world can't do us any harm. God, we give you praise and we give you glory because we know that it's working for our good. So we declare even now it's working for our good. I said we declare even now it's working for our good. Goodness will come of this. We believe and declare that it's working for our good. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, everyone, one more time. You are my strength, everybody. You are. You are my strength. Monday at 6.30 a.m. Please join us for 
our intercessory prayer with our pastor, Pastor Marcus Rule McCoy, Jr. Tuesday at 7.30 p.m., join us for a refuel Bible study with the bishop. Amen. Wednesdays from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. is our corporate fast and prayer day. June 13th through August 5th at 7.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. VGA Summer Academy of Excellence. July 9th, September 3rd at 6 p.m. Winning Women Growing Together. Our speaker will be Lady Donna Moyer of Virginia. That service will be live or in person here at GRM. You don't want to miss it. July 19th through the 24th is our 103rd Holy Convocation. Praise the Lord. I think we can do a little bit better than that. Hallelujah, 103. <laughs> it's going to be held at the Sherrington Four Seasons in Greensboro, North Carolina. And as Pastor said, there will not be any service on Sunday, but you'll be able to, those that aren't attending, will be able to view service live. October 6th through the 9th, International Women's Council. It will be held in Spartansburg, in Spartansburg, South Carolina, at the Spartansburg Marriott. Happy July birthday to the first family. Hallelujah. <laughs> We also have some other special birthdays. Uh, sister, Lucretia McCoy, July 19. Sister Iris Baptiste, July 20th. Sister Talia Baptiste, July 23rd. Sister Leisha Fuller, July 28th. But July 21st, we have our pastor, Pastor Marcus Rule McCoy Jr. Can we all stand? Hallelujah. Thank you. And I may get in a little bit of trouble for this. But his cash app is dollar sign Marcus R. McCoy Jr. One more time. Dollar sign Marcus R. McCoy Jr. Praise God. Let's continue to pray for all on the prayer list. And we'd also like to congratulate Princess Jade, Serenity Andre. Prayer request. Let's continue to pray for Mother Susie and McCoy. Praise God. Sister Sharon Charles Wright. Mother Marie Burks. Daddy Stanley Pine. Mother Alberta Green. Brother David Freckleton. Cool JC Leadership. Delegates of the 103rd Holy Convocation. 
May the Lord continue to bless each of you and heaven smile upon you. God bless. Amen. All right, we got some presentation. Let's receive Dr. McCoy. Amen for these presentations. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. We're going to ask the Pastor's Aid Committee and all those who would like to make a presentation to the pastor in honor of his birthday. You are welcome to join us at this time. Pastor, we want to say we love you so very much. There is no gift that we can give, no words that we can say, no act that we could do to adequately express our love for you, not just for you, but also for your family. Last Sunday, we had the blessed privilege of honoring our First Lady, Lady Susan McCoy, and also Prince Josiah, your son. This Sunday, as we celebrate you, we would just like to emphasize, we will always celebrate you and your family. It was what we have been taught to do. We know that you are a unit. So this gift, first of all, is for Princess Ava. Let her know that we love her and everybody else in the family is having birthdays, but that's just because, just because we love her so much. That's for Princess Ava. The church presentation will come last. I'll let... Okay. They said ditto. We give that to Pastor and we say ditto. Thanks so much for all that you do. Happy birthday. You're such a young man of God, so full of God's word, so full of energy, and we just love and appreciate you so much. Just want to say happy birthday to my firstborn and my pastor. This is from Key Largo Circle. my baby <laughs> for y'all that don't know this was my daycare baby my daycare baby is now my pastor <laughs> and I love him he know how much I love him I love you and get off the joke side and that's for his We don't want to cut anyone off if anyone else is coming. If not, we're going to ask the entire congregation, would you please stand? And could we please have a thunderous drum roll? Pastor McCoy, to you and to Lady Susan, the Greater Refuge Memorial Church family is pleased to award you with an all-expense paid trip to Cancun, Mexico! Say enjoy. Wow, thank you, church. That is so nice. Thank you, thank you. Huh? I just can't go. <laughs> thank you so much for your love. And I pray the blessings of the Lord give it back to you double for your love and for your consideration for us. I do have a one request. Pastor needs some help. I need some volunteers. <laughs> I need some volunteers. Uh, we are approaching a uh, community day of service, and I, I need some volunteers to help me. So if you 
you want to be a volunteer to help me out, it's virtual for this particular community day of service. But if you want to help me out, just let me know. Uh, and we're looking for at Tuesday, but we'll determine day. That if that doesn't work for people, we'll find another day. But I need some help. I want about 10 people, but I'll take seven. So, uh, and then if, if no one comes to me, then I'll start coming to you. All right? <laughs> Amen. It's a community of service, and our church has been asked to, to do it, uh, to be the lead or the, the kickoff for it. And there's a big announcement about it and everything. And so they called me and said, we'll be able to do it. So I said, sure. Um, but I need about seven people to help me pull it off. Amen. Amen? All right, so I'll be uh, talking to you about that. And for this week, uh, we'll have prayer in the morning, but no more services for the rest of the week uh, here at the local church. Everything will be connected to the national church. So you will connect the Facebook page and everything, but go to the Facebook page, um, and we'll make sure that we connect the phone call too. Uh, but the national church is meeting and because we're a part of the national church, we'll do all of the national church things together. Amen? Amen. So we will not have Tuesday night Bible study as we would normally do it. Uh, so there will be no activities on Tuesday. But starting Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be churching all day long. Amen. And so we want you to be a part of that. If you need help knowing how to connect or hook up into what I'm talking about, just let Dr. McCoy know. But if you go to refugeorlando.com, all of the opportunities to connect will be there. Amen? I think there is, I think that was it. Pray with us this week. I want you to say a special prayer every day for Bishop McCoy. If you just find two minutes, a minute, 30 seconds, and just pause and say, Lord, bless the man of God. Our bishop has a heavy task uh, on him as he is the vice chair of the board of bishops. And there, we're, we're, we are not a political organization, but we are an organization with order. Constitution, bylaws. We're just not willy-nilly just walking around here. Amen. And it takes a special man of God to be able to help us stay in right standing with what we said we are. So he is leading the charge in a lot of areas. And the spiritual, we're not fighting against flesh and blood. We're fighting against principalities. And principalities are, are, are things that will visit you at night. <laughs> so you can get rid of Negroes uh, 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 in the day. But you can't get rid of no principality. He will meet you in the bathroom. <laughs> he will meet you in the car. <laughs> Amen. And so you have to, you know, fight with that. And so... Let us pray that God continues to anoint him and give him the grace, the wisdom, the knowledge, because he's leading us and leading a whole lot of other people. So would you do that every day? Say a special prayer for Bishop McCoy. Amen? Is there something else, Mother? Yes, please call my name out in prayer. I was blessed to be the pre-service speaker for Wednesday night, so I'll be ministering Wednesday night uh, of the Holy Convocation. So pray for me in that regard. Amen. Dr. McCoy, one more thing. Yes, thank you, Dr. McCoy. And that's where we're in. That's what I was missing. So on Wednesday, we'll be giving away, we've collected thus far about $7,000 of the uh, $25,000 goal. But $7,000 gives us more than about 200 people that we can give at least $20 to in, in gas. Would anybody like $20 in gas? Would that help anybody? Amen. So we'll be in Greensboro giving away free gas at the gas station there as a ministry outreach. And so if you want to be a part of it, uh, maybe you can't go to Greensboro to help volunteer, but you can 
uh, go to www.idoe, International Department of Evangelism, cooljc.com, I-D-O-E, cooljc.com, and you can give there. We're asking a thousand people if they would give us $25 because that would reach the goal of uh, $25,000. But uh, we're thankful for all that we have received thus far. And many of you, I think, have given already. So thank you so much for your liberality. Pray for us. As we seek to do the word of the Lord, I put on social media, if you follow me, amen, uh, about well, 17, 2017, we were in a convention center. And I have never seen this. And Mother uh, 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 George or Mother McCoy, maybe they can, they've seen it. While we're in the convention center, someone comes off the street into the convention center, uh, comes into the service, and is drunk. I mean, drunk as Scooter Brown. And the men of God begin to pray for him, and he sobers up right there in our midst. And he's baptized and confesses Jesus as Lord. And that's what we're looking for, that while we're in church, that people just will be drawn to the service so much so that they will receive Jesus Christ as Lord. Do you believe that God is able to do it? Amen. So let us pray one for another that God gets the glory out of everything. All right, I want to say thank God for all our musicians. I mean, we're just... I mean, we were just full today, full with talent. Amen. Our brother here, I don't know your name. Let's, let's, what's your name? Ezra. He's connected to you. All right. At your other church. All right. That's, that's, this is his church. He just happens to go to another place to play. <laughs> God bless your brother, Ezra. And this is your wife? The CEO over media. We, we thank God. Your, your, your name, sister? Alicia. Come on, let's thank God for Sister Alicia. And thank God for our brother here, TJ. Brother TJ, come on, let's thank God for Brother TJ. And I want to thank God for Brother TJ's wife. She said, get up on up there. <laughs> your favorite so that's what you need somebody to encourage you to do what the word of the Lord God bless you you say that's what he need to be I she know ah, God is doing look at somebody it's all working together it's all working together come on let's stand up and get out of here amen good to see you sister Roma amen God bless you sister Roma was going through a, just a little bout of sickness amen but she's here I saw her waving her hands and Moving around, we're so glad to see you. And I always enjoy, amen, missionary year. Well, you know the service is getting good when she start bouncing like that. Start walking. I said, you know there's an anointing in the house then. Amen. Come on, let's lift up our hands. Holy hands lifted without wrath or a doubt. God, we thank you once more and again for this time that you've given us to worship corporately together. God, we ask you to bless this church and every member a part of it. God, as we seek to do your will in the earth, God, we ask that you would give us wisdom and understanding and, and patience to be able to do the work of the Lord. God, bind us together in love. Now we pray the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working with you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. And everyone say amen and amen. Encourage someone with love and say it's working for your good. It's working for your good. God bless you, church.